हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू यू सो स्टूडेंट्स इन योर एट्थ क्लास इन इंग्लिश सब्जेक्ट वी हैव स्टडीड टू चैप्टर्स द फर्स्ट वन वॉज द बेस्ट प्रेजेंट ऑफ क्रिसमस एंड द अदर वॉज ए पॉइम द एंट एंड क्रिकेट सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी योर बुक हनी ड्यूज थर्ड चैप्टर द सुनामी स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव मस्ट हैव हर्ड दिस नेम सुनामी दिस नेम इज नॉट वेरी न्यू टू यू और एनी वन वेन वी थिंक ऑफ दिस नेम सुनामी एक्चुअली वट कम्स इन माइंड वेल डेफिनेटली वेन वी थिंक ऑफ दिस नेम ऑल ऑफ सडन वी शिवर्स we uh we you know fell uh, in deep thought of something bad you know happened with this name i remember in the beginning in 2004 when um, tsunami came i thought it was name of any uh, person like uh, it looks like a girl's name tsunami and the t is silent here this letter t the n is name tsunami so students uh, you uh, know tsunami when we think of tsunami it means something very devastating something very uh, destroying destructing all things come in mind and it is a kind of you know catastrophe and uh, you know like uh, we face earthquakes we face storms we face uh, flood and uh, in the sea water when there is something uh, ha- some ha- something happens like you know the waves come with uh, tons of water and uh, wash wash the s- see coastal uh, areas the coastal uh, uh, places the towns uh, the buildings nearby the sea port or sea shore so uh, <coughs> this is the chapter uh, on tsunami Uh, the very huge wave destructive wave very huge devastating wave so uh, how the tsunami wave destroy the houses of people and devastated the towns and the buildings and many and many of lives so Uh, we we are going to read in this chapter how people sur- survived how people survived this this you know very big accident or big devastating event so uh, actually uh, when we uh, read means uh, there are few things collected in this chapter the few uh, names are given the people who survived and the people who lost their lives how they survived so when we think of tsunami the picture comes of great loss to human and as well as the property you can see uh, the one side in the page on page number 24 there are some you know islands andaman andaman nicobar islands and then you know the areas the north andaman middle andaman so these are the areas of the <coughs> the islands which were affected very severely and uh, on the other side of page you can see a picture of the devastating devastated picture you can see the hurts the car and the buildings washed away with the 
with the water so uh, let's read in this chapter what are the things we are going to read and how the people survived so let's see how many lives were affected and uh, where did it happen when did it happen all these things we are going to read in this chapter and uh, how people again rehabilitated their lives so you open your book page number 24 and uh, we can start with this chapter you once have a good reading as i tell you reading is very good and smart way to improve your pronunciation your speed your accuracy your stress tone and all the aspects which needed which which are needed for speaking a language very beautifully so students you must read the chapter you learn to pronounce the word like this word i have written here tsunami so if you uh, do not read you may call it uh, you may read it is a t tsunami is not t tsunami tsunami and uh, other words which uh, are pointed or which are new to you i uh, will be explaining in between and uh, continuing this page so let's start a tsunami is a very large and powerful wave caused by earthquakes under the sea in the sea water when earthquake occurs in the sea water then the wave of sea rise very high with carrying carrying you know large amount of water which can wash the houses the buildings the towns at the cost of the sea on 26 december 2004 a tsunami hit thailand and parts of india some parts of india such as the andaman nicobar islands and the tamil nadu coast here are some stories of courage and survived as courage and survived how people uh, helped each other how people survived so there are stories given we will read them did animals sense that a tsunami was coming some stories suggest that they did absolutely right you know when there is earthquake when something is going to happen uh, something bad going to happen definitely i believe animals can sense that happening very easily but we do not notice the animals neither the happening so students uh, i tell you few examples how animals can sense uh, the the happenings you know when i tell you very live very real examples of life uh, from our day to day life you know uh, sometimes you might have seen the dogs crying uh, very with very loud noise at night at night dogs cry make very bad beat very bad you know very horrible sound at midnight dogs uh, make the sound it means those dogs sense something bad is going to happen that's why they cry and they want to make others aware and alert so you can note down this thing and <coughs> means they sense their nose sense and i tell ants ants also sense the thing beforehand means in advance ants can sense the rain that the, the, the rain is going to come so ants can sense and they carry their eggs and food stuff to their places and 
they they go to the safe place and likewise you know uh, other some birds can sense the earthquake they make very strange noise strange voice that time they make very strange voice not a usual voice so uh, definitely wild animals the jungle animals can sense these happenings easily but we do not notice these animals voice so we cannot guess we cannot imagine we cannot prepare ourselves in advance so these stories are all from the andaman nicobar archipelago means a group of many islands and the surrounding sea so <coughs> the surrounding area of the sea from the andaman and nicobar archipelago so ignatius is the name of a person ignatius ignatius see ignatius you can learn to pronounce ignatius was a manager of a cooperative society in kanchal his wife woke him up at 6 am because she felt an earthquake ignatius wife woke up very early at 6 uh, on 26 december when on 26 december 2004 early morning ignatius wife woke him at 6 am to see felt earthquake ignatius carefully took his television set off its table and put it down on the crown so that it would not fall and break so ignatius wife felt earthquake and she woke um, you know her husband up and uh, ignatius carefully took his television the things which are kept on the shelf or on the table especially very costly uh, items we keep on the ground so uh, they so that they would not fall and break then the family rushed out of the house i told you this phrase rush out quickly rushed out of quickly ran out quickly out of the house when the tremors tremors stop tremors you know the effect the shivering the the thrilling of the earth stopped after the earthquake you know earthquake happens just for few seconds just few seconds not minutes otherwise everything can be damaged everything can be floored on earth if it takes minutes so it is just for few seconds like say 10 or 15 seconds or 20 seconds or not more than <coughs> so uh, they saw the sea rising sea rising sea level water level rising in the chaos and confusion chaos and confusion two of his children caught hold of hands of their mothers father and mothers brothers so two of the children caught hold of hands of their father their mother's father and mother's brother and rushed in the opposite direction he never saw them again he never saw them again because his wife was also swept away swept away sweep away say sweep away only the three other children who came with him were saved and the 
other children who came with him were saved and uh, his children and uh, his wife they swept away or uh, uh, you can say uh, like uh, you know they uh, they were they were swept away they were swept away and uh, three other children who came with him were saved three other children came with him they were only saved and rest of the children swept away so ignatius only was survival next see sanjeev was a policeman the other story see other story is i have told there are few stories of people who survived and did the courage and other person was sanjeev a policeman serving in the catchal island of the nicobar group of islands he somehow managed to save himself his wife and his baby daughter from the waves but then he heard cries for help from the wife of john some other person the guest house cook he was guest house cook sanjeev jumped into the water to rescue her rescue john's wife but they were both swept away again they swept away and washed with the water next story 13 year old magna was swept away along with her parents and 77 other people 77 other people she spent two days floating in the sea floating in the sea holding on to a wooden door uh, you can see the wood can you know uh, float over the water float over the water so she was floating two days in the sea with the help of a wooden door 11 times she saw relief helicopters so you see government and other charity societies came, uh, come to help people in such situation and military also come and the helicopters make the rounds to rescue the people who swept away or who need help in the water so 11 times she, she saw the relief helicopter overhead but they did not see her she was brought to the shore she was brought to the shore by a wave with the wave she was brought to the shore a coast and was found walking on the sea shore in days in days days like you know not conscious in days next is almas javed was 10 years old she was a student of carmel convent in port blair where her father had a petrol pump her mother rahila's home was in nankovery island the family had gone there to celebrate christmas some other girl when the tremors came early in the morning the family was sleeping almas father saw the sea water recede move back recede and he understood that the water would come rushing back with the great force he walk everyone up because other family member members were sleeping and try to rush them to a safer place as they ran her grandfather was hit on the head hit on the head by something and he fell down 
fell down, her father rushed to help him. Alma's father. Then came the first giant wave that swept both of them away. And then came a giant, a big wave and swept both father and grandfather both. Alma's mother and aunt stood clinging to the leaves, clinging to the leaves of coconut tree. As coconut trees are very tall, so they were clinging, holding leaves of the coconut tree. Who? Alma's mother and aunts. Calling out to her, a wave under, a, a wave uprooted the tree. And there came a wave and uprooted the tree. Because with the water, everything was washed there. And they too were washed away with the water. Elmas saw a big log of wood. Big log. Big log. Tree. Wood. Floating over the water. She climbed on to it. Almas climbed on to it. Then she fainted, fainted, shivered. When she woke up, she was in a hospital in Kamorta. Kamorta Hospital. From there, she was brought to Port Blair. And she was fainted, she was fainted, lost the sense and got unconscious and when she woke up she was in a hospital and then she was brought to pot play the little girl does not want to talk about the incident with anyone she is still traumatized 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 shocked very shocked <coughs> and distressed, very distressed. When we see something, you know, such in front of our eyes, definitely we are shocked. We don't know what to do and, and we just uh, become, you know, still without any moment. So students, these are few stories of people who survived in the tsunami 2004 and uh, we have read few lives and we'll continue in your next video next class with other few example and other few people you can read this paragraph we have read the first part first section you can read and read it for the reading practice and then for the explanation and comprehension if you find any word difficult, however, I have written here a few words, but even then if you find any uh, difficult word, new word to you, you can consult a good dictionary and then comprehension check, you can check these uh, questions given and we'll continue it in your next video. So um, have good time and keep studying, keep revising your study by the time we meet phase two phase. Thank you.